everybody. I was out doing some yard work and I came across this caterpillar and I had no clue what he was. Kind of scared me at first actually. So uh, I thought anything with all those bright colors and those little spiky things coming out had to be dangerous. So I plucked him on up and I put him into a tank just long enough for me to do some research on him. And uh, what this is, is this is the larval stage of a regal moth. And uh, what this is called, this caterpillar, is called a hickory horned devil. And they get to be about six inches long in this stage. And uh, what they do is they go from being an egg to be in the larval stage, this caterpillar. And then they stay up in the trees about 35 days or so. And they eat all the leaves until they're ready to come down onto the ground and go looking for a place to burrow into soft soil. It's a totally harmless caterpillar. You can see all those spikes, all the horns on his thorax, cute little face. But um, this one, he was outstretched. He looked, looked a lot bigger than what he looks now in my hand. But uh, when they go burrow into the ground, that's when they're getting ready to pupate. And uh, what will happen is he'll shed this skin and he'll come out looking totally different. He comes out looking like, how do I describe it? Kind of like a little yellow turd, I guess is the best way for me to put it. Little, little yellow piece of poop. And, uh, but he'll have his little antenna that he'll have as a butterfly or as a moth, I mean. And uh, he'll have his front legs. These little front legs here, those are the true legs. He'll keep those when he becomes a moth. All these back legs will be lost in the shedding process. So, once he pupates, turns into that little yellow blob, he'll kind of harden up and he'll remain underground until next summer. At which point he'll come out as a regal moth. Once he becomes a regal moth, uh, if it's a female, She'll, uh, about the second day after being a moth, she'll go out looking to mate, and then she'll lay her eggs on the trees, on the leaves, and then shortly after that, she'll die. Their lifespan as a moth is not very long at all. But a pretty little booger, look at that thing. Oh. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. There's more information you can find on him, and I don't want to go into too much detail in this because he, uh, he's ready, ready to go start becoming a little pupa. So I'm going to go find some soft soil to put him in, take a few pictures of him. So, pretty neat little booger. I really like him. I kind of wish they'd stay like this forever. But, let's help him on his way in his little life cycle. Thank you guys for watching the Hickory Horned Devil. I don't know why they call him a devil, because he's just awfully cute, now that I know he's not dangerous. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.